This is the new Yamaha BPP35 5 string from their Pro Series. Let's check it out! <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Base the World. My name is Gregor Fries and today we have my buddy Alex Lofoko on Base, who is here for the first time, so please give him a warm welcome. This is the Yamaha BPP35 in Moonlight Blue. It's a very familiar base. Most of you will have tried one of those at some point in your life. But it's actually a different series. Yes, it's also a BB series, which has been around for decades at this point. But this is a pro model. It's called a BBP. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of all BB bases and all price ranges. For me personally, they are Yamaha's best work. But what's new to me is this. These pro models cost a lot more than the other usually sub thousand euro or dollar bases. But you're not really paying for the brand here to pack a whole lot of interesting features into this upgraded version. So let's check out the specs. The pro models come with a three-piece sandwich body made from two layers of alder with a maple center piece. The neck is made from five pieces of maple and mahogany and it comes with a beautiful rosewood fretboard and 21 medium-sized threads and these beautiful slim block inlays. Two features about this neck really stand out to me. First of all, it's incredibly comfortable. I'm not really a five-string guy, but this feels better than most four-string necks out there. It's flat, but not too flat. We don't want to give up on the vintage vibe. It's, it's, it's simply perfect and that satin finish feels absolutely stunning. The other standout feature is something I have only seen on my old Yamaha Billy Sheehan signature. The neck is bolted on with six screws. Four of them are placed normal as we've seen thousands of times, but the other two are installed at an angle to really pull the neck tightly into the neck pocket. I still don't understand why everyone else has not started doing this yet. It's so simple, but yet so brilliant, and yeah, this should be an industry standard. Surprisingly, this Pro Series BB base is passive. I loved it and would personally always choose passive over active, but here it comes a bit let's say unexpected. We have a volume control for each pickup and a master tone. The pickups are Yamaha's own design and they go by the name V7. These are vintage style Alnico pickups which sound absolutely fantastic in this bass. The neck pickup delivers rich and organic P bass tones and the single coil at the bridge matches perfectly. I'm not the biggest fan of PJ sets, they never seem to fit together perfectly. The bridge pickup always seems more like an add-on for the split coil and, and not like a proper pickup in itself. I don't know what they did here, but each pickup on its own sounds absolutely perfect and if they're running together, they complement each other. I cannot emphasize how special this is. A PJ is a very simple design, but when done well as they've done here, it can become an extremely versatile and powerful setup. So let's hear the bridge pickup on its own. <laughs> There are two more features that make me really like this space. And first is the truss rod access from the side of the body. This might not seem like a big deal, but I always like this easier to service option and uh, yeah, well done Yamaha. But the aesthetically more pleasing feature is the bridge and how it's integrated into this design. The bridge doesn't look spectacular. It's a thin vintage style piece, nothing special. But this bridge allows the strings to go through the bridge or through the body for a bit of extra sustain. And look how they've put these tubes at an angle. It's just a small detail, but it's pretty and considering the routing of strings, it's probably better for them. There's one more really cool feature, but this one you can't see. It's called initial response acceleration. What this means is each bass gets treated with hours of continuous strong vibration to get it settled in. As a result, these basses sound as if they've been played for months already when you get a new one. Sandberg does the same thing with some of our bass world signature basses, so I can tell you firsthand, this isn't some fancy bass voodoo, this actually works. <laughs> Thank you. 
The more time I spend with the space, the more I fall in love with it. I always wanted to own a BB, but now I think I don't only want, but I need one. Everything about the space is perfect. This is a real working player space. There are useful innovations, a very high comfort level and no compromises. I need a moment to check my finances. In the meantime, let's hear another sound sample. As you've just heard, it's a fabulous P bass, but as you've heard before, it's also so much more. And it's a five string. Five string P basses are a hot topic and I usually don't have many nice things to say when this discussion comes up. But here, nothing, no complaints at all. I don't think it suffers from any of the typical issues this type of instrument usually comes with. The B string game is strong, Yamaha has created something remarkable here. What a bass, I love it and I think I want one. And yeah, if you want to learn more about it or maybe order one, check the links in the video description below. And that's it from me today. Thanks for watching and see you again in a few days back here on Base the World. Bye bye. Base the world.